All right, and welcome back to Logan Simmons Photography. And I've got a great video for you today on a great product, at least when I reviewed it last time. There's a new version of it. It's the Topaz Labs product, Denoise AI. And now they're on version 2.0, and they've introduced some new features. And I really want to show you, because I think they're important. They're really going to help you improve your pictures if you choose to use the product. So, uh, but before you do that, make sure you're subscribed here to the channel, because again, it helps us out a lot. So you can see the video right when it comes out, and also helps us, you know, with those YouTube algorithms and metrics and all that stuff there. But let me go ahead and bring you into Adobe Photoshop right here. I have a very, very old, noisy image all the way back from the uh, mid-2000s here. Pretty noisy. I think it was shot on ISO 3200 there on a fairly old DSLR back in 2006. Um, now, this was decent for the time, but obviously there's some noise here that we'd like to clean up. So I'm going to go ahead and use that Denoise product from Topaz Labs, and it's available as a standalone application as well as a plugin here for Photoshop. So I've already got it installed. I got the trial set up here. So up to Filter, Topaz Labs, and I'll go ahead and hit Denoise AI. And it's going to go ahead and launch here for us in a second. Here we go. And if you see the cat in the background, she's wanting to get outside. We'll have to deal with her, hopefully not too bad here. But it loads right up. It's zoomed automatically into 100%. I've got my navigation right here. And it's pretty similar to version 1.0, at least off the bat there. In fact, if you haven't seen that video, you can watch it up there on YouTube by clicking that card. You'll see the review there. Uh, but let's see what we can go ahead and do. So basically, it's brought up some default settings. Uh, now, Denoise AI, that's the more sophisticated, latest version of their software. AI Clear, that's a New, uh, an older version they claim is more compatible with old, with more images. I haven't had a need to use it just yet, but you know it is there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit auto detect settings. And it seems to refresh pretty quickly. This is only a six megapixel image though. You can see it did clean up a little bit of that color noise there. And definitely it uh, you know, definitely did quite a bit there as well. Uh, so we can go in here and say color noise. You know, we can take that out. For some reason, it doesn't do color noise reduction automatically. But, you know, that did a pretty decent job there. There's still some, but definitely a lot, a lot better there. Um, but there's one feature, and I'm not sure if this was in the old version or not, but I want to go ahead and give it a try. And it's the low light mode. So I'm going to go ahead and flip that to on. And it's going to take a second there to refresh. And let's see what it did right there. It really blew out all of this noise and almost looked like it made like a very smooth, out of focus, vocal look. So that really made a big difference here. In fact, let's go ahead and, you know, I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and we can kind of compare back and forth between where we started and what it looks like now so we can see the difference. Just give us one second, we'll be right back and I'll show you that comparison between the two there. Okay, so we're back. We have the image processed here. Let's go ahead and zoom into 100% and take a look here. So here's where we started. Again, a lot noisier. You see a lot of that color noise. And with the denoise, you can see uh, that it really, really made a difference. Now, I do see a couple little speckles. And if you see them right up to zoom into 200%, you know, we could zap that out, for example, with the healing brush if we wanted to go ahead and do that, you know, fairly, fairly easily. Not too many artifacts. Uh, the only thing I'd mention, though, it has kind of dulled the lettering a little bit. Um, so, you know, that would be a downside right there, possibly. And again, that's not all in the background. Don't mind the cat. She's doing her thing. So one thing that Topaz has, has done now with this Denoise version 2.0 software is they've added masking. So what we can do is actually, we can say, let's go ahead and do the noise reduction for this part of the image. Maybe we don't want to take a look at the, we don't want to adjust the lettering so much. Let's go actually go ahead and back. I'm going to go ahead and delete that uh, adjustment it did on the noise. Let's go ahead and do the mask option right here. And yes, dear, yes, you want to go outside, I know. Perhaps once the video is complete, now we'll get to go outside here. All righty. So we've got it pulled up here. And I think what I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do it like we did before. We'll go ahead and do the low light mode there on. Take a second to do that. And it's, I'm not even sure. I think I'm just going to leave it auto detect settings, low, low, low uh, light mode on. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit the mask right here. All right, and then you have show and hide. So basically, if you do the show option, what it's going to do, wherever you brush, it's only going to apply the denoise effect to those areas. If I do hide, it's basically going to take a look at these areas and say, you know, the areas that I've selected, they'll not have the filter applied. And of course, you can go down here and change the radius, the, the feather, which I believe is the softness there. You can do all that. 
And what I'm going to do is just kind of paint this area out here for the, where the jersey is. And as I do it, it's going to generate a quick little preview. And of course, you can turn that off if you unclick auto update preview. So that's an option right there. Let's see what I got. Let's go ahead in here and start just painting this out. I might want a smaller brush. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe reduce that. We'll go up here, go up over here, maybe a little bit down there as well. And I'm going to go ahead and say apply mask. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit apply here. And we're going to compare how it looks. So just give us a minute or so. We'll be right back and we can do that comparison. Okay, so we got the image processed here. Let's take a look at what's happened here. So you see how we did the noise reduction here, but we went ahead and we left the detail right down, uh, right, you know, right where that particular lettering is. Now there's still a little bit of noise there, but you could argue maybe that's a little bit better. You know, if you're printed a decent size, you're still not going to be able to see that noise right there. So again, that's a nice improvement to have the masking. So let's go ahead and get out of that. And then I want to take a look at maybe some limitations of the program as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of that, and I'm going to open up this image right here of Mr. Kenny. I believe that is his name. Maybe not Mr. We'll just call him Kenny, and we'll invoke the, uh, we'll invoke the plug in there and take a look. Uh, so I'm going to kind of do what I did last time and see if this works as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do auto detect settings, maybe turn on low light mode, see what happens here. And it's going to just take just a second for the low light mode to, uh, to trigger there and come through. There we go. And let's go ahead and take a look over here and see what's happened. Now you see how it's been blurred out right there, but over here it looks a little bit weird. This is one of the limitations I saw with that low light mode. Sometimes it doesn't look quite as even. So I think in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off. And I'm also gonna turn off auto detect settings and we'll go ahead and play around with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's go ahead and remove some noise, remove that a little bit more. I think I'll probably keep the sharpening about where that is. Let's see what we can pull off here. Let's take a look at Kenny's face and make sure we're not doing too much here. Okay. I'm going to take a look over here as well and see if we've got everything we need to here. Ooh, come on, computer. Generate that preview. There we go. Again, it all depends on your computer. I think this image is a little bit larger, but we got 16 gigs of RAM, quad-core processor, so it can be a little bit demanding right there. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and do color noise reduction as well, do a little bit of that. Let's go ahead and hit apply, and then we'll come back just in a minute or so, and I'll show you some of the limitations and how you might mitigate those in Photoshop or your favorite editing program. Okay, so we got the image back in a Photoshop here. Let's go ahead and zoom into those areas and take a look at some of the limitations. So, did a decent job with the face, looks very natural, but some of these out of focus areas you may be able to see right here, eh, they look a little bit off right there. Now, we could have used the masking tool, um, but I found in this particular case, disabling the noise reduction completely would have had this huge transition very abrupt between an area that was masked out and one that was not. So, I think in this case, what we could probably do, I'm not going to do all the image, we can go in here or maybe do, uh, whoops, let me go ahead and get my layer selected. How about that? Whoops, that was the spot healing brush. Now that's what we need that. Okay, so we can go in here and just start plucking this off right here off of her face. Or for example, we could use the blur tool and go in here and make it a little bit less noticeable. So we can go in here, do all that, like so. All right, perfect. So yeah, I mean, there's definitely some ways you can work around the limitations there, but what's my verdict of the Denoise product? I, I like it a lot. They've, it's been very helpful to have that new masking tool. They also added it to the Sharpen AI program. In fact, if you haven't seen my review of that, you can click up there and watch that. That's for image sharpening specifically, whereas this is obviously for noise reduction. Definitely check it out. There's a link down there below. There are some limitations, uh, but I think it can be mitigated there. So anyway, that is my review of Denoise AI from Topaz Labs version 2.0, all right? And uh, make sure, again, you're subscribed to the channel. And if you like the video, please hit that like button. Help us out a lot. Definitely appreciate you watching, and you have a good one. Bye-bye.